distributed property. So here it is. Here is the teacher. She's going to give candy to everyone inside. Now, is it fair for her just to give it to the first person and not the second person? No. So imagine if you were the two, right, and I only gave five pieces of candy to the X. Would it, would it be fair that I would just skip over you? No. You would want five pieces of candy to yourself as well. So I'm going to give you some candy. So this, what does it mean when the five is right next to the parentheses? Multiply. So that means it's five, write this down, times x plus five times two. So you multiply five with everything that's inside. What's five times x? Good job. Five x plus, what's five times two? So how did I do that? Basically, you know, this plus sign, you just drop it down, right? Then 5 times x, 5x, five, 5 times 2, 10. Now, can I put these two together? No, it's kind of like CST. This one has an x, but this one does not. So can I put it together? No. So technically, officially, you're done. All right. Try this one. Four parentheses eight plus x. So write it down, guys. What do you guys get? Nice. So 4 times 8 plus 4 times x. 4 times 8 is 32 plus 4 times x is 4x. And we're done. Yeah. The correct... Hey, I'm okay if you get this today, right? I'm like, hey, okay. You want to step it up a notch? You always want to put the variables first. So it would be 4x plus 32. This is how they want you to write it in for sure. Yes, in algebra, I went over this last week where they want the ones with the with the variable in alphabetical order, right? And then the one with no variable all the way in. But I'm okay if they, for today we're doing this. But if you get this, I, hey, I'm, I'm satisfied. If you can change the alphabetical order with the number at the end, you're just stepping it up to the outdoor one level. All right. No. Technically, it's what you're supposed to do. All right. Let's try this one. Yeah. What are you distributing? The X. Try it out, ladies. Distribute. Write it again. What do you multiply? All right. So I'm going to distribute the X. So it would be 5, I mean, sorry, x times y plus x times 7. Whatever is outside the parentheses, you're going to give to everything that's inside. So what's x times y? Very good. It's just x, y. Plus, what's x times 7? Good. And I love how you put the 7 in the beginning. Good job. 7x. And that's it. It is. It's just kids look at this and go, oh, no, it's an X. I don't know what to do. You do the exact same thing. You give it to everything that's inside. All right. Negative 7 parentheses X minus 4. 
So now you're distributing the negative. Again, everybody should be able to go, oh, I'm taking this. You know what I would do first, though? I would do that. I would do a keep change change. Negative 7 times x plus negative 7 times what? Good job. That's why we do a keep change change in the beginning. What's negative 7 times x? Plus, what's negative 7 times negative 4? Good job. All right, W, parentheses, negative 2 plus x plus 5, parentheses. Oh, so now instead of just having two terms inside, I have three terms. Okay, multiply everything times W. That's a two. But these will have a dash for the middle. This is how I do this. So you don't confuse it. David? Give an answer. Or you're going to do CSU? Okay. So it would be W times negative 2 plus W times X plus W times 5. Right? What's W times negative 2? Plus, plus, good. When you think you're all done, you're not, because there are two terms that have a W. So now you go back to what you were, uh, you learned last week and go, oh, I'm going to circle my W. So what's negative 2W plus 5W? Plus WX. Can I put these two together? They both have a W, but one of them doesn't have an X. If you have variables, that's an X. That's what I want. All right. Try this one. What's the first thing you Oh, no, there's no subtraction. You're good. All right, so Juan, let's get our notebooks out ready. So distribute, distribute, distribute. The first part, I think there's no math involved. All you're doing is taking this number times this number, but you're just writing it out. Plus this number times the middle number, plus this number times this. 
right? So you kind of like rewrite everything. Everybody should have this, please. Then you're going to multiply. Okay. What's negative 5 times 3x? Negative 3x. Plus, what's negative 5 times m? Negative 5 times What's negative 5 times negative 4? Negative 20. No. 20 positive x. Now you're going to do some CST. I have negative 15x. And I have positive 20x. The signs are different, so you're going to subtract, correct? So 5x. Do you have more positives or more negatives? Positive, so it stays positive, plus negative 5m. All right, try that one. What's the first thing you should do? Keep change, change. That subtraction sign, do a keep change, change on that. Go. Hi, Mr. Morris. Did you see your uh, two boxes? Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. Okay. 3 times 4m. So I change this. Plus 3 times negative 3. Plus 3 times 2m. Right? What's 3 times 4m? 12m. Good. Plus what's 3 times negative 3? Good. Plus 6m. Good. Put your m's together. What do you get? Good job. Got one more thing to teach you. Feeling good right now? Good job. They all said they were feeling great. Good job. Oh, before I do that. I was going to do something else over here. I'm going to do it later. But I forgot to do this. Oh, no. Yeah. You see how the four is on the other side? Guess what? Do the same thing. Sure. This way. So, 4 times 5 plus 4 times x. So, same thing. So, even though the number's on the back, you're still going to do the same thing. Okay? What's 4 times 5? 20 plus 4x. Okay, now I'm going to teach you the hard way. Actually, it looks harder. Right. Right, right, right. So one half times the uh, sum 
of, well, what has the sum of 8n and 12 x No. What you do, same thing. You're now going to distribute the 1 half. So 1 half times 8m plus 1 half times 12x. And kids might be going there like, oh my god, I don't know what to do with the fraction. Yes, you can convert it into a decimal, right? So it would be 0 0.5 times 8 and 0 0.5 times 12. So let you in a little secret. When it says, when you have 1 half times something, all that is is half of it. So you would do half of this. So what's half of 8? What's half of 12x? Well, this is really nice when it's half, when it's 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is just cut it in half, right? Yeah, if it's like 5 over 7, then it's not as nice. So, try this one. 1 half 10m plus uh, 18y. What would you get? Don't shut it out. Write it down. Try it out. Look at the problem we just did. It kind of go, how did she get from that to that, from this to that? Try it out. Write it down. So what's one half of 10m? Good. What's one half of 18? What? We're good? So I don't want you to get like a map question and you're looking at fraction. You're like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to skip it. It's like, no, no, no. If it's one half, no, I mean like where you take an educated guess. All right. Try, what about... What if it's one third? Yes. You're dividing by three. So, this is one third. So, in the first one, it was one half, and I divided by two. Now it's one third, and I'm going to divide by three. One third of 9m plus one third of 27x. What's one third of 9m? Divide by 3. Plus 9x. It looks hard. I mean, some of you, you know, you'll look at this. And me too, I'll be like, dude, look at this, right? If it's one third, I'm just going to divide by 3. You can always turn this into decimals and then multiply. So it'd be 0.333 times 9 plus 3 by 3. It's a lot easier if this number is 1, if this number is 1, you divide by the bottom. So if it was 1 fourth, you divide by like 4. If it's 2 fourths, then you're going to, well, that's 1 half. But if it's like 2 over 5, then you would have to do the decimal of 2 over 5. And then one. So it's a little bit more work. But I'll bet you anything on the math test, they'll give you one of these. For easier ones that look hard. And if you master this, then it might be like a 2 fifths. It's not that hard. But it's taking a while.